Some of you, dear subscriber, have asked me some questions about what is Agile Lounge and why Lounge and the name of a professional services and business agility. So here is a little tale we're going to see in the next hour about what made me care enough to do it and to call it Lounge because I dare to care on this 111th episode of the Friday Live Agile. And as Edward Simmons taught us, if you care at all, you'll get some results. If you care enough, you'll get incredible results. And today I have an incredible guest, a surprise, as I promise you. One of my great friends and my ex-business life of music industry and more, the king of lounge, the lounge king himself. Isn't it amazing we have the lounge king with us? Thank you. What time is it, my friend? It's now. The time is now. It's time for... <laughs> oh, it's time for what? <laughs> exactly. It's time for some lounge. I'm happy yes. to see you, my friend. How are you? Me too. I'm glad. I'm glad. Of course, this is virtual, and I was glad. Uh, I'm still grateful of your welcoming when, we, when I was in Mexico City because we could not disclose. exactly. It's a great city. It's a big city, so it's an undisclosed location of the lounge secret lounge but uh, i was glad to meet you in person with all the security guard and special agent 73 and other special agent it was that was great to meet the international lounge network i'm glad that you enjoy your time in mexico yes and i still have one of your gifts with me uh -huh. for my next project my next business okay. venture or maybe who knows exactly. very nice cheers to you my friend so it's time for it's some lounge. No, you have almost all the equipment. <laughs> the lounge. Yeah. Let me. Uh, let me uh, no, there's the Agile Lounge and there's the Fredo Lounge. The Fredo Lounge have more artifact of, of the, the, the lounge culture here. I keep it more agile. But yes. still, I still have this greatness. With a DVD, yes. I never watched the DVD actually. I don't know, so maybe I'll be. Yeah, seeing. it's it. That is a collector item now. Oh, it's really rare. Two thousand six. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Limited edition, with yeah, artists from all over the world, even even from from Quebec, of course. On this one too, yes, that's right. Yes, exactly. Monsieur Max. Yeah, Monsieur Max is there, and uh... Never Gilberto, uh, the yeah. Corporation. Uh, oh, that's that's so great. Some people are from France. I mean, there, there's uh, there's uh, many artists, really good artists from all over the world. Even Senor Coconut. <laughs> yeah, I see it there. Oh, and I've got another thing from you that I got from, I don't know if it was our common friend, Funky Filter, or yourself. It's stuck in my, uh, it was on my, uh, you know, old iMac right there, but it's still here on my iTunes. Oh. It's a playlist of you called Wika Chica, something like this. That was amazing. Ah, Wika Chica, Wika Chica. 18 years old and over, of course. <laughs> uh, free downloads. Yes, of course. I yeah, know. I remember that. So that, that's a whole thing. And uh, I still have it. It's a, it's a great playlist. And this record, I, 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 I listened to it. Well, of course, now you have your YouTube uh, channel that I am also an addict and the uh, this Lounge King Radio. All the link, guys, will be in the description or the pine comment of YouTube and Rumble yes. for you to go and see uh, the marvelous work of uh, the Lounge King and uh, his ladies and other stuff. Like, uh, you have a very beautiful singer right now that I'm in love with. Yes. I mean, spiritually and culturally in love with her, Antonella Bella from Italy. Antonella Bella. Antonella. Course. Excuse me. <laughs> disculpe, disculpe. The legend. Yes. The musical legend. Yeah, the musical legend. And we met. What about me, senor? <laughs> of course, Dimas, Dimas. Good morning, Dimas. Oh, Good Dimas. Morning. Hello, senor. Greetings. Hello, como estas, Dimas? Very well. Preparing the coffee for, for, uh, for the lunch king. All right. And uh, I think you are in exactly. my uh, in my cup, my, my dear Dimas. You're one of my favorites. You were so funny. Serving the ladies. Great. And the <laughs> Excellent. Well, co coffee, please, Dimas. Yes, yeah, right away from Colombia? Uh, yes, oh. please. Okay, right away. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. So, you were saying? I was saying that we met about 20 years ago. Isn't it amazing? 
when you were bringing your magic and your lounge cult here in Montreal, and you made this with great artists, the yes. future song of Montreal. I'm so proud. Yeah, and me too. Um, it's amazing. R Raphael, audio sculpture. Raphael. Yeah. Yes. The urban element. Monsieur Max, once again, with, oh, featuring Super Agent 69. And, uh, it was, yeah, it, it was an experiment, yes. Yeah, but this is what I like with you, and this is why uh, uh, after our little uh, chit-chat together, I will go deep and explaining why it's Agile Lounge, but you're one of the main reasons. Even my logo, uh, I said to my designer, I sent, I sent my designer your website, and I said, like, I'd like to have a kind of a, a font and pen tone right. type of thing, like for the Agile. Um, oh, I see. You see? So it was like, uh, because for me, the lounge culture, it's important. But what you mentioned, like the way you do your artistic project, it's empirical, it's experimental. And business agility have to be also in this way. We have to teach those leaders of enterprise and team to develop software and even to do business into an experimental way instead of waiting for a big project with a beginning at the end. So that's the spirit of uncovering new ways and better ways. And I think we have to put uh, art, arts, culture, exactly. sports, and yes. science all in togetherness. That's, a, that's why I, uh, I created it. It's one of the reasons why it's called Agile Lounge. And also I tell myself, if this professional services doesn't work anymore, I could open a bar, will be called Agile Lounge. You and I will voila. welcome DJs like you. Voila. And, voila. <laughs> so um, that's why it's even trademark in the United States and here in Canada. So um, Something like this. Yes. Now it's a trademark in, in, in Canada, US, and Mexico. Exactly. And Mexico too. Wow. If I could perfect my uh, professional Spanish and my Spanish... Uh, I will be glad to expand my uh, because I still ha I have a network in Mexico, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I need to perfect. The... Well, you maybe need an agent here. <laughs> of course, of course, and uh, we we're gonna yeah. talk about it for the future of okay. Agile Lounge and the international way of doing business now. Exactly. So, did you get your coffee from Dimas? Because he served mine. Dimas. Senor. I have a problem with, with, the, with the machine. <laughs> with the machine. Okay, no problem. I, I take it later. No, no, don't, don't, don't push yourself too much. Do you, okay. want, do you want one from my machine there? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there, there's no app yet to, to send it to you over. It's no teleportation. Yet. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. There, there's still... We have to talk. We have to uh, work on it definitely. But for example, the three uh, three dimensional uh, printers are amazing. Yeah, that is that is a great advance. Anyway, so um, I'm I'm so glad that you invite me here to your to your uh, agile lounge project, and uh, I'm I'm uh, I don't know what to say. I'm touched in, in the sense that uh, to hear that you uh, you took a lot of inspiration. Uh, uh, for my project, you know, uh, the project, uh, as you know, well, started in, in Montreal, and um, Montreal, I love the city, Montreal, I love the culture, I love the, the multicultural uh, um, people that lives there, and, and all the all the possibilities to explore. That's why the Lounge King show was possible in Montreal. Really? Montreal. So, because you, you tried yeah. before? I, I, I tried, I tried to stand Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't you, catch that. Ah, yeah. Well, I was saying that uh, Montreal has a very uh, particular, peculiar uh, spirit that uh, allows, allows people to, to explore and, and to, to, um, to get new ideas. It's, it's, a, it's a really a good field to, to, uh, to put new ideas. For example, I try to... Um, to expand the Lounge King show to the rest of, of Canada. Uh, for example, Ontario, I try Ontario, I tried Manitoba, I try Toronto, it wasn't possible. And every time they say, oh, in Montreal, yes, of course, it's, it's perfect for Montreal. <laughs> I say, why? That's, it's perfect yeah, for that's, everyone. 
but I'm okay, okay, I understand because they they see this. You know, the city is is uh, is expanding. Yeah, I, I like to hear the story because, but this is why twenty some years ago, fifteen years ago, because right now Montreal is. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be negative. I like your. I, I love. I love feedback from people from outside, because when we are into it, mm -hmm. we don't see everything. But me, exactly. I have a chance to travel a lot, so I, I I spend time abroad also. So when I come back, I I kind of see the good of our city. I still believe that Montreal is still cosmopolitan and open mind and everything. But I I will be curious to see if you do it now. With the way the radio yes. can work and everything, and all this multimedia, this social media that's taking over, it will be, exactly. I don't know. I don't know because Montreal yeah, is too much true. Toronto, and I don't like it. I'm not talking about the French and the English language. It's not about it. It's about the no, culture, no, 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 not at the, all. Culture, no. the culture thing. And um, yes. yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's, that's uh, because for me in Canada, the, 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 the It's not just because they're big, but uh, we talk about Vancouver and British Columbia, Toronto and Montreal. Mm -hmm. they, these mm -hmm. are the hub of culture. Uh, you could be surprised with Quebec City at some point, but it's a, too small of a market to uh, to expand there. But still, uh, in, in artistic creation and, and culture, Quebec, uh, I think, uh, for this little portion of population, uh, brings something great. But yes, Montreal, definitely... Um, you know, one of the first DJ uh, from Canada, the entire country, who, who made it outside and become famous internationally was Robert de la Gauthier. Probably recall him in the 90s. Um, and after, of course, uh, is, 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 is student Tiga. Mm. Tiga oh, and, and Mistress Barbara came from here, the Laika. And, and so, on. So, so yes, Montreal has always been a hub. And we were uh, even bigger than Chicago and San yes, Francisco. Yes, Chicago. Yeah. Mrs. Barbara. Yeah, Mistress Barbara. And uh, you know that the Laika closed uh, five years ago, huh? unfortunately, because the Laika was a great kind of bar restaurant where DJ um, yeah, emerged. Sure. What I saw is that if you... If you... Mm. I think that now it's it's a lot of the work, but if you talk about Montreal as well, if I um, talk about radio, I think the big companies, the big, big media companies, took over the place. the The reason that uh, I had the opportunity to to share my project with the people from Montreal was uh, thanks to a vision of a guy from the '60s, that generation, the generation of the '60s, the, the baby boomers, I think uh, they call them. But anyway, anyway the thing it. is that uh, that guy has had a had a vision, and he said, "You know what? We need this in Montreal." And and uh, and that and, and when when we met, uh, he loved the project. He uh, he said, "You know what? We 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 have to do it here." He had a good relationship with with uh, his boss. Uh, it, it was called Standard Radio, the company. He was a rich guy. Yeah. <laughs> Those days. And he sold, he sold, it, to, sold it to Virgin. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called uh, Rob Braid. Bad guy. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know what? Here between us, let's say that I contact, because uh, the, the, there was a guy around. I won't say his name, but there was a guy over there as well he was a little bit um, i don't know resisting the project but i finally we put the launch king and was successful and and uh, you know you know the rest yeah that that, that guy's it's it's uh, he's back in montreal and i talked to him and i said you know what do you think if we uh we we will start again we we uh launch king reloaded <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we know it, yeah. the guy was uh, refusing about it. I was uh, he rejects. He said, "No, nah, well, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. you know, it's political you, things." And I do said, you well, have, but, you don't but, have to explain yeah. anything." So that's why when you say that, I think it's more um, uh, about mass media. You know, it's the huge companies. Yeah, but of course, because right now for Excuse this me? kind of this, for this kind of music now in Montreal, this is Virgin. I think we, we cut a little bit. 
Is it? It's, it's the magic of life. Exactly. And I think we have a delay between you and yeah. I. Um, it's yes, like uh, a little bit. we yes. are in the uh, we are on CNN. So well, so what? Uh, what what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> it was good at first, but now I don't know for what, for which reason. It seems that we have a, a, a lagging. But hey, it's live and it's experimental. We still heard what you had to say, but yes. my my point was, I was uh, I will be curious to see uh, among our other friends because all of this independent media online. You know, using multiple platforms like you do, uh, because I'm going to show people the Launch King Radio that they could uh, uh, actually use onto any browser and and push it anywhere. And so it's kind of it's kind of really great actually because that traverses the you. world. And yeah, uh, and you know what? I have yeah? show, shows from everywhere. I have shows from uh, from Spain. I have show from from France. You know, from England. From United States, I uh, I have a guy as well from Montreal. Uh, it's it, there. It, it's it's funny story because he uh, he's a great fan from the from my show, and uh, he he uh, started started to uh, share me his radio show, which sounds like my 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 show without me, of course. <laughs> But uh, he started to uh, to share the show, and I said, you know what? If you want to be in Lounge King Radio, welcome. So now we have uh, uh, two shows, actually, from Montreal. His show, which is The Bachelor Lounge, and another show called uh, uh, Father Times. For or his father, it's uh, responsible for the Waka Chica Waka Chica um, uh, compilation that I gave. But now he moved to Montreal. He, he was married with uh, uh, Mimi Le Twisteuse, something ah. like that. He was, uh, yeah. He was well known in, in, in the media thing with uh, Ye Ye and, and that stuff. Amazing. It's a small world, my friend. Of course, it is a small world. And um, so, what is uh, just before I, I go on with um, with explaining the, the the why and the what of Agile Lounge and, and detail? Yes. I'd like to ask you, uh, what is your upcoming project? Uh, you have uh, whether it's cultural or business, because. You are on the uh, Friday Live Agile talking about business agility. I know you asked me to meet you again uh, in the International Lounge Headquarters uh, to talk about yes. it here. But what about you? Because this this first uh, this introduction to my uh, live show today, it's it, it was a grateful moment to thank you, and I'm and I'm glad that you, you you've been available. I know you have another meeting soon, so tell yes. tell us what is your uh, beside like. Um, Bringing back uh, the uh, Launch King show uh, reload, uh, what do you have uh, in store for us? I mean, <laughs> well, right now my main project, which is is now one year, I can't believe it that we have our first an anniversary a few days ago. It's Launch King Radio, of course. I have to consolidate Launch King Radio with uh, with a new web page, which is a lot of work. And uh, more shows from all over, all over the world. Let's say this is the first the first part. The second part, I'm um, talking with guys from um, uh, United States. It's a secret layer, so I can tell you more. But it's um, it's in the states. Maybe a radio show over there in the states. Amazing. And you read it first. You read first here the Friday Live Agile. Well done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but sh <laughs> don't say anything else. No. Um, I'm talking about as well another project. I have many. Uh, another project is the uh, Launch King Beer, which will be um, developed again because I already did the the the, the formula and everything. We uh, have a great sales here in Mexico, and I want to spend that. But I need uh, uh, I need to develop more the the company uh, uh, behind the beer. So. Uh, Oh, you know, on factor, little factory. But I, I want to still, uh, I don't want to grow, let's say, fast and, and, and like, uh, you know, without control. I, I want to have control and I want to do something, uh, um, something ex exclusive, you know, yeah, like my style. So I this know. is the two projects. I have another project, humanity project, in order to support men, uh, in order to, to uh, have orientation regarding Um, emotional uh, emotional orientation and some uh, small legal I'm not a lawyer I'm, I'm, I'm an ex-secret agent so I cannot uh, 
do that, but I can give some support, and uh, my agents, of course, will take care of that. And uh, well, that's that's. I think that's more than enough. <laughs> yeah, a lot of well, things. See, are, uh, this can, is amazing. This is amazing. How active you are, and I love it because it's uh, uh, you, it's fine to see a fellow entrepreneur like you, an artist, uh, a fulfilled man. And uh, this is why probably you are happy because when we are busy like this and we love what we do, it's amazing. And the last part, uh, this uh, international uh, non-governmental association, I think this is great because we talk about inclusivity more and more. We talk about uh, the importance of well-being. And, uh, and yes. it, so I believe that um, uh, men should not be ashamed to express themselves and to go to ask for help. It's not about a man exactly. or woman thing. It's it's a human thing, and uh, without it's a human uh, thing. It, yeah, and we have, we have to put love into it. And yes, if we have to do it specifically for men, it's because we need to to uh, to bring uh, those those suffering men together. And exactly. if they want to get help, we'll be there for them. This is amazing. And your beer, actually, I tasted it in Mexico uh, with one of mm, my. What do you think? Friends. Yeah, from my, from my new friend who loves craft beer, so he's really amazed by your beer. Was asking where he could find it. He's from the Estado de Jalisco, um, but I said like if you go in Mexico City, maybe you could find some because your beer is only available in Mexico right now, or right now in in uh, yes in Mexico City. Now now it's sold out. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm very happy for for that. I'm I'm, I'm it's, it's sold out. I I have one. With uh, coffee, chocolate, which is the one you you had, yeah, and there was another great. one, uh, which I'm developed as well. It's the, um, it's called Atrevida. <laughs> it's with mezcal. <laughs> oh, is, beer with mezcal. Very special. But with a French, with a French touch, I would say it's mezcal. With it's, it's a blonde, the the kind of beer is blonde, with mezcal, but with a French touch. Is that this one? That, this I, that my of... friend. That's the secret. Is it the bottle with Agent 69? The one you just see in the back. Okay. Exactly. Amazing. And you know what? You know where I tasted your uh, your chocolate beer? I was in the Estado de Tabasco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Las Hermosa. Oh, it was just funny because they were pretending to be the state of chocolate, and I was tasting your, your chocolate beer. So. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened by coincidence. I think, like, I don't know. So... No, 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 definitely. I see, I see that. I think that uh, this is a seed for the future. Exactly. So, my friend, thank you very much for uh, uh, introducing the this show with me. This 111. The time is now. It's fine. Exactly. And um, yeah, here we're gonna we're gonna do something together very soon uh, for a better world. Yes. Not only a world of work, but a world of happiness. And as Mike Skyser always say. Without love, there is no humanity. So we're going to bring love with the lounge culture and all our agents. Exactly. Well, muchos Great. gracias, grande señor, grande lounge king. Muchísimas, and... muchísimas gracias, muchacho. Merci beaucoup à toi. Ça fait plaisir. On se revoit bientôt. Grande, señor. Ciao, dimas. <laughs> Ciao. Un saludo a grande agente 73. Huh? También. La, la gente 73, la, la italiana. Ah, está, ok. Well, take care, my friend, and uh, happy to see you and greetings to your audience. Bye-bye. Gracias. Ciao. Ciao. Great music. Thank you. And all the links will be in the description for his radio station, the web, and also the channel. Do you like the segment you just saw of the Friday Live Agile? So subscribe and hit the notification here on YouTube and Rumble. And join us every Friday. I'm live. Uh, at 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central. And if you want to sh- watch the entire show where after the Launch King left and I 
continue to explain what is Agile Lounge and why Lounge and the name of this professional services for business agility and more. So just hit the description and the link for the entire show is available for you. See you next Friday. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,